Today I want to talk to you about H1 tags and title tags. And really there's a lot of conflicting information on the web about how to use H1 tags and title tags. Uh, the reason I decided to do some research on this and start looking at different resources was because I received a question that said, hey, I noticed that you use the identical information in your H1 tag that you do in your title tag. Can, will Google penalize me for that? Because, you know, Google does look at duplicate content and sometimes uh, issues penalties based on that. So that's when I really started to dig into this information and found it to actually be pretty confusing. And there's a lot of reasons why, I think. And I want to just go a little bit more in depth into how to use an H1 tag, how to use a title tag, uh, some tools that you can benefit from uh, using as well, specifically ChatGPT to help you out with this. And then I want to show you some, di some different examples that I think cause a lot of confusion uh, for people around the use of these tags. So we're going to start here in our good friend ChatGPT. Uh, I'm going to ask it this question. What is the difference between an H1 tag and a title tag? So basically, uh, what we get from ChatGPT for the H1 tag is the H1 is going to represent the main heading or title of a page's content, while the title tag is going to define the title of the document, and that's displayed in the browser's title bar. And typically, at least with Google, many times what it does is it takes the title tag information and uses that uh, in the search engine results. So that's the difference. Now, can they be the same? So uh, I think they can be the same, and I can show you why that is, and I don't think there's any penalties for it. So for instance, if we take a look at this editor here, this is ghost.org. Uh, it's an open source tool that I use, uh, and I create my blog posts with Ghost uh, for my website. So when I put in a title, a post title, I'll just put something in here. Um, what is a title tag? So what Ghost does is it takes this, it makes it the title for this blog post, and it also makes it the H1. The, the CSS and the style sheet do that. So for example, if you were to... Uh, go ahead and look at my website and we go to, we'll use this as an example, the myth of non-factual blog niches. This is the H1 for the blog post. If you notice uh, up in the status bar here, it says the myth of non-factual blog niches. So when I looked at the underlying CSS, it's taking this, making it the title and actually making it the H1. Um, and the interesting thing is they do match. And so you, you might ask yourself, well, is Google going to penalize me for that? And my answer for that is going to be uh, no, that's not the case. So for example, when I go into an incognito browser in Chrome and I type in the myth of non-factual blog niches, which is the keyword for that blog post, Notice, here I am, number one in Google. Now, I have done a video on this as well, but um, I made a blog post from it, and here it is. It's number one in Google. Now, granted, it's a long-tail keyword, but this is a brand-new domain. I mean, absolutely brand-new domain, probably a little over a month old, and it's holding the number one spot. So in this case, I've got... You know, the title and the H1 are the same, and it's not affecting my search engine rankings whatsoever. So then the question becomes, well, do I want to do that? Do I want to always make my H1 and my title tag the same? So let's go ahead and take a look at another example here. So 
here's my website aboutflyfishing.com. And what I do at aboutflyfishing.com is obviously write about fly fishing, but it's sort of an experimental site where I do some SEO experiments uh, just to see what works, what doesn't. So here's one thing um, that I'll point out. Notice I have my title tag, and the title tag here is Are Expensive Waiters Worth It? The answer is yes. That title tag uh, is always placed over a featured image in this particular template. Now here's my H1. Are Expensive Waiters Worth It? The answer is yes. Now, am I going to get penalized by Google for that? Uh, let's go ahead, take a look. Here's the keyword, are expensive waiters worth it? I'm in an incognito browser on Chrome. And I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm in the top 10. I'm the eighth uh, search engine return uh, for are expensive waiters worth it for that keyword. So Based on this example, it's not an issue, but the readability, it just looks, just sort of looks bad, in my opinion, when you see this. And then the second thing you see, when you see the, the title tag here over the, fe over the featured image, are expensive waiters worth it? And then you look down and the H1 says, are the expensive waiters worth it? So really what you want to do is figure out a way to if your template allows it to make your title different than your H1, because the H1 is dealing with the information on the page, the title is supposed to be descriptive of what the whole post is about. So let's say we wanted to use ChatGPT to help us create a unique title and a unique uh, H1 heading. So I went ahead and wrote this prompt. I'm writing a blog post for the long tail keywords. Are expensive waiters worth it? Can you create a unique page title and H1 heading that use, use these keywords? Let me fix that. These keywords do not create a, do not create identical title and H1 headings. So I just don't want it to duplicate each one. So what do we get? Are expensive waiters worth it? Unveiling the true value. Deciphering the worth of high-end waiters. Are they truly worth the investment for the H1? So this really does still capture the search intent of those keywords. The keywords are being used in the title. So that's good. That helps from an SEO perspective. Uh, and the one thing that I will point out is back when we were looking at... Um, this conversation that occurred in ChatGPT about uh, what what's what's the difference between an H1 tag and a and a title tag from an SEO importance standpoint. You know the H1 tag is important for SEOs. It helps search engines understand the main topic of the page, and the title tag is extremely crucial for SEO. It impacts click-through rates from search results since it's the first thing users see. So. Uh, the, the big deal, of course, is going to be when you look at something like Neuron Writer, which is a SEO optimization tool. Uh, in this case, I wrote this article and I used the identical title and I used the identical H1. So, you know, as soon as you delete the H1 and save the document, you'll see the score go down. So, I mean, that just illustrates the point that, the, that an H1 tag on a page is important. Now, if you are using an, uh, using an SEO optimization tool, let me grab this again and drop it back in the H1. Uh, if you're using a tool like Neuron Writer or Phrase or Surfer SEO, you do want to pay attention to the terms that are in the headings. So you could write the title and you could write the H1 and they could be different, but you just want to make sure that you were including these top terms that would be part of this H1. And the same thing when you look at the title, it gives you ideas for your title and what should be in it. 
So you just want to use those uh, to help you uh, craft a different title from the H1, but still preserve the search intent. Uh, there's a lot of differing opinions about H1s and title tags. They are different. Uh, they, they do have a different use. Um, I really think that uh, maybe a best practice is to attempt to try to create the title differently than the H1, but there is no uh, evidence right now that I can see that using the identical title and the, uh, and the an identical H1 tag is going to cause a problem with uh, with your search engine results, as I, you know, demonstrated here uh, with uh, our expensive waiters worth it, the article I wrote, it's, it's number eight uh, in Google search for that. And then of course, uh, the other example was the, that myth of non-factual blog niches being number one in Google. So again, uh, there's a lot of information about H1 and title tags on the web. Some of it is conflicting. Some of it is confusing. Uh, but based on what I can find, the H1 tag should be different than the title tag, but it should preserve the search intent for your post. Uh, and if you're using an SEO optimization tool, uh, use the guidance from that tool. Uh, that will probably help you with your um, SEO optimization scores. So until next time, uh, take care.